Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen rarely get it wrong, and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, principally each side's concern for the strengths of the other. Sade. He's had a shot! Thinking about that, I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well played. Leeds take the lead, 1-0. Well, just... He's through the middle. Well, Red, he's sorted that out. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. Big chance! <laughs> A finish right from the top draw. Terrific audacity, just gorgeous skill. Oh, look, the keeper didn't know whether he was coming or going in the end, and he just got lost. So that's two now without reply. And the referee brings it to a close. Leeds always look the more driven side, probably the better side, and nobody is arguing about the results. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eases the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. Well, thanks for your company, Jim, and a very good day to you. While all observers are agreed on this, it is the point where the competition gets really serious. Top teams now fielding their best available lineups in front of big, big crowds. A lot of noise, great expectation, and the sense 
that the possibility of silverware is at hand. This is a big chance. Is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world so this is where we're up to in the quarterfinals already plenty enough the referees awarded a free kick there could be trouble here but for now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket well he was the one player you had to keep away from the area not the best way to do it though Leave it clear. Sade. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Roberts is onto it and can take it up. And it's hoisted clear. Looking for a decent ball in. Now can he. And the finish! Just off target. Good effort. Very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work though so that's going to be another corner Decent attempt, Peter. Tries to dink it in. Tries to get it clear. Roberts. Ball through needs to be good here. Gets away from his a big chance. Oh, shame. That was nicely worked. The timing of the pass and run was exquisite. Was high class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class wage. And that's been leave it clear. Rodrigo. placement the one place the keeper couldn't reach well I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out never mind one it was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement Take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Now it's Rodrigo. Looking to get Sonny! It's in! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot.
Leeds take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Sarri. Roberts. Dinks one in. Alex Rodrigo. Hits one! Yes! And surely that settles it. Oh, it's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch and devastating in front of the goal. What a display. What a player. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Plays it out to the wing. Pedro Neto. That's great strength on the ball. Oh, real danger here. Kone. And that's that. And on to the semi-final. Another hurdle cleared. Next up the penultimate step. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? What I most admire about this outfit is the cohesion and the willingness to work hard as a unit for getting behind the ball. Doing the ugly stuff, that's what gets you clean sheets and wins. Good afternoon to uh, one and all. Like you, we are very much ready to go here and looking forward to a game that has been the topic for universal conversation in this part of the world for much of the last few days. It's dry at the moment, but the forecasters have warned us of impending rain. There's no certainty about that, but uh, when it does come, it shouldn't affect the uh, dynamics of a match which has so much riding on it. Hoists it forward. Sade out towards the flank. He's got options out wide. And the shot! Phillips. Klich. it out Sade click Sade and another time they've scored finally the breakthrough great reactions in front of goal he just saw what was on well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes.
got changes here from both sides, in fact. Just five minutes remaining now. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Roberts. Room for a shot. And a shot! And that would have been some goal. Oh, that's an excellent try. And once he picked it up, he headed forward with real intent. Milivojevic. It really is now or never. They need a goal, however it comes. And that will be the final act. Leeds win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Yeah, they had a game plan which was about hammering away in central positions, and it paid off. For me, they were persistent and ruthless. Well, thanks for your company, Jim, and a very good day to you. Well, hello, good evening, everyone. We have reached the pivotal point of the competition. The field is down to 16. We are, therefore, in exclusive company. Group tables are behind us. We have reached the cutthroat stage of the competition. Knockout football of the highest order, and it is live here. Certainly, this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. There's a perceptible change in mindset here, both in terms of crowd and players. You know, Peter, it's the suddenness that I love when you get to this phase of the competition. The suddenness in which you can find yourself in a good position or the suddenness in which you can, it can go against you. That introduces drama, which creates great excitement, and ultimately, you get a much more entertaining show. Got things on the way. And it's been taken short. Plenty waiting in the middle. Gets up to hit it! Goal! By Leverkusen! The breakthrough strike! Oh, the cross was inch perfect, and the header. Honor. 
Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the area of the problem, this fella is definitely no sledge. By a Leverkusen, break the deadlock. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, the time has arrived to start taking risks. They may well be happy just to level this. And here's Rodrigo. Poveda. It's come from going for goal. Poveda. Oh, good take and a look at the goal. And he has been fouled there. There could be trouble here. And for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. And this is a great chance to get themselves back square. Rodrigo. Rodrigo! That is simply superb! A finish of true class! Oh, that is a bit special. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, if anyone in this stadium thinks they haven't got value for money, I give up. Davis. Now it's Rodrigo. Leeds have a free kick. Phillips looking to play it into the box. There's not much doubt that this will be played into the penalty area. Knocks it away. He's had that put on, and the shot! Oh, taken with style! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Yeah, it tempted and teased the keeper into thinking he could get to it, but it just eased the way to catch the inside of the post. So we have a breakthrough. Now how will things develop from here? Well, I think you can write this lot off at your peril. It's been a joy to watch them hold themselves right back into it. Now, can they hang on? And that's it. A huge result. A place in the next round is theirs to lose now. Success on away territory, a lead to protect at home. It is looking really good. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Oh, a tame first half when a turnaround wasn't looking good and an excellent second when they found more than enough to do the job. Great comeback.
what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have uh, rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing around the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some time. And the shot! It's in! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. A 1-0 lead established. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Rodrigo. Leeds are still behind as we reach out for half-time. Povina! Oh, in for the follow-up! They score! They have come roaring back! Just so calm under pressure. I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business now. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, look, Peter, who knows what's about to happen from here. Uh, I doubt this will be the final score, though. Sade. And helps available out wide. They need to get it in quick. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. So nothing between them after all of that, and you can't really argue with the result. Well, the manager too unhappy with the outcome, and the fans really well entertained. It's all square in the end. Your reflections then, Jim? Yeah, this looked the most likely outcome, but we've had a, a good variety in this game, despite it being anticlimactic. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin, and goodbye from us.
Well, welcome everybody to a part of the world where football really matters. There is a healthy tension, great expectation building in the lead up to kickoff here. A little bit grey overhead, and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older. But regardless of that, there is a lovely backdrop here. The ambience is good, smashing noise from both sets of supporters and expectations high in both camps. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. We have already started here. The one that nobody wants to miss, a meeting of the top two. Oh, nice touch. He's there to receive it. Shoots! Massive goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for. A player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. He reverts to shoot and he duly delivered. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Oh, real! He's had a shot! A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push. The opposition wide men back. Oh, shooting chance! They've done it! And already they're looking to run away with it. Well, oh, that always looked the likely outcome. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronized with the right pass, that's what happens. starting to look very comfortable well that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out surely they'll manage one or the other Leeds are looking to build on the point they picked up in an admirable underdog performance last time. Sane. Keeps everyone guessing. of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's looked a threat. Leeds take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. And here's Rodrigo. Sane. Leeds are leading with half-time drawing close. Pointing finish in the end.
Fabinho tries to get it forward quickly. And Mane sticks it away. They're back within reach. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Liverpool give themselves a fighting chance. Back in with a shout. Mane. Is there a... Gabriel Jesus! It's in! I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. They seem to have lost their sense of direction. Uh, it should be higher up the pitch. Looking. And that will be the final act. Leeds win it by the odd goal. Almost nothing in it. Perhaps a draw would have felt fairer. But that's the game, and they have won it at the margin. Your final thoughts, Jim? Yeah, they had a game plan which was about hammering away in central positions, and it paid off. For me, they were persistent and ruthless. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me. And we'll both see you next time. Well, hello, one and all. Just getting settled in for the second leg of this first round tie. It is one that has supplied us with plenty to mull over since the end of the first leg. Preparations in progress here is where we're up to. Having lost in front of their own fans, the visitors come here desperately needing a result. It should, in theory, set up a really interesting game with them having to go on the offensive from the outset. That, I'm sure, is what the crowd anticipates. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. The host then with a slight advantage. Now preparing to finish the job off. Well, I think they're in a position where all they need now, Peter, is the right game management. Sure, they'll want to have a bigger cushion, but that's not an immediate concern. Concentration will be key in the early minutes, though an early goal is all it takes to undo all of the good work so far. So it's away we go then. 
Phillips. Rodrigo swung over. Gets up to in the script and you have to feel for it, Peter it's ended in uh, some embarrassment leads got some help from lady luck there they all count Alioski Phillips and it's Rodrigo it's on a plate has a pop lingered over it and the chance to counter had gone look if they're going to counter it has to be pacier and much more decisive Alioski tries to get it forward quickly and it's fallen Phillips gets it back. Sade. Now a chance to break. Oh, the ball's come loose. He's gone for it. They've done it. Two to the good. They have breathing space. Jim your thoughts. And all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire, but how about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. Leads to last themselves into a three goal lead. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. And that's been leave it clear. And it's played forward. He's through. Could be thinking face to face going for goal. Away. Really outwitted one on one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Yeah, he just calmly faced the keeper and waited. It became a, a who blinks first situation. And for me, there was never any doubt as to who was going to come out on top. Gets good distance on it. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. So that's the first round done, and on we go. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, I have to admit, Peter, that I had this marked down as a, a draw at best, but their tactical approach and industry was superb.
Well, welcome everybody to a part of the world where football really matters. There is a healthy tension, great expectation building in the lead up to kickoff here. A little bit grey overhead, and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older. But regardless of that, there is a lovely backdrop here. The ambience is good, smashing noise from both sets of supporters, and expectations high in both camps. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. could so easily have been different oh that look of disbelief and it's Rodrigo what an adventurous run from a defender there are a few waiting for it shot a goal Simplicity itself. Yeah, and I think we may have had too many defenders ball watching then because they just lost sight of the real danger. A 1-0 lead established. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Team still separated by the game's only goal. Driving on, he could shoot here. That has sent him sprawling. Whistle's gone and the referee has given a penalty. And that is a huge moment in the context of the game. Time for a cool head, and that is precisely what he showed. Oh, you can always see he was confident about that. He always looked like he was going to score. That has added a whole new complexion to the game. Look, get your seatbelts on because this is showing all the signs of another roller coaster ride. Alioski. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Can he deliver? Trills one in. Sonny! He scores! And again they hit the front. Speed of thought, efficiency of movement and certainty of outcome. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. And here's Mitrovic. A really good feat from him. And here's Mitrovic. Goes for goal! It's in! Oh, this is a real show of character. Rather than let their heads drop, they still proud and fall hard. Brilliant. He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. 
Oh, players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick minded was that? He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. So all square and not for the first time. Well, there's resilience for you, Peter. As a side, they never lost focus despite the setback. And this is thoroughly merited for me. Now they can go one better, possibly. He's trying the shots. Produced a beauty. <laughs> Fulham complete their comeback, and now they only need to hold out for a few minutes. Well, the last moments now, Peter, are going to be very frantic. There's still time for a, a twist or two yet. <laughs> Poveda. Poveda drives it forward. Can tries a shot! He scored! Dying minutes, and we're all square again. A pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment, and the damage was all done. And just like that, he helps himself to another hat-trick. There's going to be another change here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. All... And time is up. What a game, wonderful stuff, and the right result. Oh, the side really deserved to lose. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Well, a decent draw, Peter, with a good mix of action and plenty of talking points, and it ended with the right result, in my opinion. It's for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day. Four teams, we're down to the last four then, the penultimate round in this fine competition. 
The two teams ahead of us here have their eyes firmly fixed on the grand prize. They both believe it is within their compass. Having come this far, they're entitled to believe that. The competition has provided us with a lot of drama up to this point, and I'm sure there is plenty more to come before it reaches its ultimate climax. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. It is extraordinary to think we've already reached this stage, just this game and then the final. A game some may argue with justification as being harder than the final itself, Peter. I can certainly attest to that from my own experience. While you do everything to tell yourself you shouldn't get too ahead of things, it's actually harder than it seems. But it's looking like a terrific occasion here. Let's just hope we have a game to match all of this wonderful expectation. So it's down to business here. Rodrigo looking to run onto it. Rodrigo looks to drop one in. run he's making on the right Sonny! mighty close oh and it's such a good effort maybe the target really should have been hit and he's made sure that that won't get through and it's played forward brought forward he'll have a go He's pulled off a fine save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Leads, take what looks to be a decisive lead. There's still a bit left in it, Peter, but they should find the necessary to avoid a slip-up now. Now it's Rodrigo. It's one! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Caballero. And that's that. Leads have sealed their place in the final and their loyal support is in ecstasy. They head to the big day, genuinely expecting to win it. Your reflections then, Jim? Yeah, they've grown in stature and confidence with every step and one big step away from the trophy now.
Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. Sade. Rodrigo plays a clever pass. It's an unusual turn of events, and it was an honest attempt to help out, but I suppose it can happen to anyone. Fortuitous as it may have been, they all count one. Well, you can't ask for much better than that, Peter. Bang, bang, two in double quick time. Kolasinac has been caught there, it's a foul. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. Phillips battles to win it back. Cliff. Leeds are enjoying a good spell right now and leading. Now it's Rodrigo. Poveda. to set himself for the strike. Leeds take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Click. Sade. Click. And here's Rodrigo. He's had a shot! Speed of thought, efficiency of movement, and certainty of outcome. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Leeds take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Sade. And that will be the final act. Leeds are irresistible here. Dominant, utterly ruthless. Only ever one result. 
a comfortable win. Would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? I enjoyed that, Peter. Both teams went about their work in a, a really committed manner, and for me, it just always held an interest. This remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day. So hello and welcome again for our broadcast of the second leg of this quarter-final. The first leg, as you all know, was a very tight one. Both sides failing in their attempts to break through. All that is absolutely certain is that we are right on a knife edge. We have to have a winner here, no matter how it comes. This for a place in the semi-finals. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. So we are now where we began. Neither side any closer to the semi-finals. Someone from somewhere is going to have to make a difference. A uh, tough one to call this, Peter, and I can easily see it being attritional. Both sides desperate to take the initiative while also being aware that one mistake could prove fatal. It might just come down to who has the better cutting edge here as chances might prove pretty scarce. Either way, it should be fascinating. We're underway. Shackleton. Sane. That's great strength on the ball. Sane! Oh, that's magnificent! And this is already looking rather ominous for the opposition now. When a player of his calibre can open up the scoring so fantastically. It could be a very long match for that defence to prevent a recurrence. The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. Leeds have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Paris Saint-Germain have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt. Ah, he's given it away. Shapes to shoot. It's in, and that gives them an overall lead. Icardi was quick to move in. Keeper's handling wasn't great. Oh, that's great awareness. Full marks to him as he was just that bit quicker than everyone else on the follow-up.
Yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. Takes it over to the other flank. Well, that's where he wants it. And now they can launch a counter. He gets past his man. That's a decent ball. Goes for goal! And some players are just capable of grabbing a game by the scuff of the net. And his immense talent, they just have done exactly that and injected the belief that they can retain their lead this time round. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well built. Leads take the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Marco Verratti. Verratti showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. It's one! The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. The second of the game, and an eye now for the hat trick. The changes then in quick succession. Leeds take a two goal lead and are looking good for the win. Well, just five minutes left. Well, the ball's come loose and the Sonny! And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Well, the ref's been lenient here, I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Well, he's asking for trouble, Peter, and with this urge to, to nibble away, I think the ref is spelling it out for him now. and goes back, Sonny! Good first touch and almost as good a second. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. So now the difference is three. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Shackleton. And there goes. 
It's the final whistle. Leeds have got it done through to the last four and evidently now believing in it. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, I have to admit, Peter, that I had this marked down as a, a draw at best, but their tactical approach and industry was superb.